This is where the scene unfolded on Friday night in front of the local grocery store situated on Laguna Drive. Owner of the store, Ahmed Harmouche, spoke with Love News and told us what happened that fateful Friday night. He told me I want a beer, so I have a lead taxi man there, I serve him and he tried to tip me. I tell him, let her behave. And he tell me, get me the stuff. I want to get him, he put a half in his pocket. And they have a little Spanish, he hang with me there, he tell me he tip a half. I come to him, I take the half and I put it back. I tell him, please, I don't want you at the shop. And the man, he said he want to kill me and he want to kill the next guy and he start talk big. I tell him, not talk big because you, you do wrong. You come and tip me and I always shoot you good. So the man, he gone, help his friend and they come, three of them. One long here one and the Jesse Frank. They come, one he grab the guineas and they come outside, the next one he put a dollar and he opened the chips, he said no one to pay only one dollar. I tell him the chips cost one twenty five. I could give you for a dollar, but if you want to, to come with this way, I will not give it to you. When the guys were confronted by Ahmed, the argument escalated to a full blown neighborhood war. The alleged victim, Jesse Almora, told us his version of the story, that while he was outside, he was viciously beaten by an army of Ahmed's family. The argument was between a long, one of my friends and the Lebanese. But then they were arguing, and as, as I was walking off the scene, one of them came and crashed me with the golf cart. For no reason? For no reason. Why were your friends at the store? For going to buy a shark chips to eat. For that, and he shark one quarter. Just a quarter, he was shark. And that what started everything. Were you there at the store when the argument started? Not really. I was beside the store by the yard. There are allegations that you guys were carrying machetes and some steel rods and you left it outside of the store. What can you say about that? No, we didn't carry no machete, no steel rod. There are also allegations about you guys going in there to rob the store. Is there any truth no. to that? No, ma'am. And while there are many versions of the story circulating around town, an official investigation from the police was called off as the parties involved settled an agreement out of court. Because I see them, they came with knives and with bottles in their hands. So after that, you know, like, they want come, they came to the shop to fight. Not because of how, how they say, like, one dollar or one dollar chips or like this, those things. And next of that, you know, it's a shame for them to come and do all this. Because they come to us and they, they apologize with us to go and drop the charges and we did it. Because we are here to leave, not to fight. Doctors we spoke with classified Almora's injuries as wounding. In the process, Jesse sustained abrasions and lesions to his body and lost two of his tooth in the scuffle. Hani Harmouche sustained small puncture wounds to his left rib cage area and his arm. The support is sponsored by Grand Village and Estates. Reporting for Love News from San Pedro Tong, I am Maria Novella.